to uh, finally meet the MedNet group. Uh, many thanks for uh, FFP, for the organizer, for Shala, the president of Leila, for Leila team. And um, <coughs> uh, my title is From the Real to the Emotional, the Tree as an Incomparable Cultural Heritage. Uh, this lecture, this lecture will treat the tree as an incomparable cultural heritage. Therefore, from the real state of global warming and economic crisis, going through the streetscape in contemporary concept of Beirut, and ending with the emotional state as a symbol of a country. First part, facing a harsh reality. Global warming and economic crisis, the tree is in danger. Uh, the global warming impacts our trees and the economic crisis in this country is pushing citizens to use and cut trees fighting the cold of the hard winter. Fuel crisis, we are losing a national treasure. Desperate Lebanese cut ancient trees for heating. Hundreds of trees have been felled as a few can afford the fuel. Amid soaring inflation, Lebanon's ancient forests under treat as winter starts to white. Lebanese rely on highly polluting diesel generators run by private neighborhood operates to make up for shortfalls in electricity supply from the state utility. This is a view of Lebanon's capital, Beirut, with the lights on only in some buildings. It's the current state of the country. Lebanon increased climate goal despite political and economic turmoil. While battling political upheaval, coronavirus, and its worst economic crisis in 30 years, Lebanon has strengthened its 2030 emission target. Climate protester, as we can see in this photo, marched through Beirut. Lebanon has increased its climate ambition for 2030 in the middle of a political, economic, and humanitarian crisis. The small Middle Eastern country is battling its worst economic crisis for decades, which has pushed over half its population into poverty. In fact, Lebanon, Lebanon is in the Middle East, and here there is a map describing the climate change, climate action, climate crisis. Several types of risk have been undergoing uh, scrutiny in Lebanon, among others because the ongoing climatic trends could greatly increase their number and scale. And climate change contrasted trends. Sorry, I, I, I did something. OK, it's OK. OK, thank you. Second part is about a study done uh, on Beirut and um, its analysis of streetscape in contemporary concept in Beirut. It was a spatial approach to urban development project. 
the new project of Solidaire. Solidaire is the private company that appropriate the old city of Beirut, where the most famous landscape architect have realized their concept. A spatial approach about the use of trees in the urban space in this book, in French and English, I prepared uh, in 2019. Location of Lebanon, as we can see, is the red small point, it's Lebanon. And um, in the East Mediterranean Sea, we can see in this square Beirut, and the limit of the municip uh, municipality, it's on a um, uh, black line, uh, hidden one, and limit of solidaire, it's a smaller, continuous one, and the red line is the demarcation line that divided Beirut east and west during the civil war. The old city um, is mineral, and the red line, which is the green line, is the greenest one. These are about, uh, so this is, uh, uh, the green area is about Solidaire, the old city, and the green line. Uh, we have uh, some photos about, about uh, the current state in uh, this old city done by Solidaire. Uh, the urban nature is uh, an alignment of tree, as we can see here, and here too some point, the most is mineral. Uh, it's about, uh, uh, for example, colors, alignment, uh, directional perspective, or sometimes it's about some uh, plants uh, from balcony to try to do uh, the green green uh, wall of Patrick Blanc. Sometimes it's about a grid when it's about uh, a squares using Robinia. And sometimes we can see like this square, just one tree in all the square. So in, uh, in this study, uh, urban nature is more as museification. There is no genius lodge anymore in the old city. It's uh, artificial. I had um, a study done, prepared uh, during IFLA Montreal in 2017 about uh, this square. And this square is um, in Beirut. Uh, Samir Kassir, journalist, writer, uh, conceived uh, uh, this square conceived by Vladimir uh, Jurovic, a landscape uh, Lebanese architect, in homage to the journalist, thinker, and writer Samir Kassir, killed by an attack for the freedom of expression in 2005. This is the statue. The presence of two ficus, emblematic uh, tree, is also a very significant symbol because they resist to war and they make this square the greenest one in the area. It's about ficus nitida, evergreen leaves, and in different temporality. Third part, when we talk about tree, we think about cedar on our flag, in Lebanese flag. The tree, symbol of a country, of a story with the land, the season, the tradition, the beliefs, an emotional and narrative approach. 
the cedar of God, in Arabic, Arzarab, as it's the name of Cedrus libani. The different major species of trees in this region, the heritage we share, narrative and local story, symbol and perception. The oldest, uh, um, oldest uh, cedar, we can see there is one in UK, um, planted in 1658. And another one in France, in Rocamadour, um, planted in 1685. As we can see, um, I lost my uh, 23, 20. Yes, the Mediterranean cedar are all extremely similar in appearance. Here we can see, for example, Cedrus libania, Atlantica, and the Brevifolia. Um, Brevifolia is in Cyprus. Uh, even if we can see that, that Cedrus libani is the orange color, in uh, Turkey, in uh, Lebanon, Syria, and around. Uh, but uh, um, uh, it, it's not the same species as the one existing in Lebanon. The largest uh, known Cedrus Libani is in Pshari, in Lebanon. And here we have the different uh, levels of, um, of plantation. Of course, there is no only cedar, but uh, we have olive, caro, pistachia in the southern and eastern littorals. Uh, the Red Book of Zevnave uh, also uh, intend to present guidelines based on integrated ecological, socio-economic, and cultural information in order to serve as a practical support for the political and the professional decision-making and for those who deal directly with the landscape concerned. And here I add some photos from my own hiking. Uh, with the friends. So uh, the tree has inspired writers, poets. The tree um, where the first school uh, we, we made. The tree is the touch, the osmose, the dialogue, the mystery, the smell. The tree is sensitive to the sound, to the music, to the identity. Thank you.